Hello and welcome to another video by WG Productions where I show you some really cool online streaming and After Effects animations and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can make this crazy cool looking uh, logo electric logo reveal animation or lightning logo reveal animation this can be an intro for your logo and uh, this will uh, reveal your logo in a really fun and awesome way and uh, you can really see this uh, electricity going across the logo and then uh, the logo glowing so sit back relax and uh, stay tuned for till the very end of this video because i'm going to show you how you can make this but before that if you are new to the channel then please subscribe for more amazing animations so first of all we need to jump into photoshop and uh, we need to prepare our file for uh, using it in after effects so you need to import your logo in uh, Photoshop and uh, you can just uh, increase the size of this logo. This is the logo. And uh, if you want, then you can also prepare a background or you can basically uh, just have a, a solid color, uh, which is uh, like uh, a black color or any color that you like. And you can just uh, drop it beneath your logo and then you can export this file. So this is the file and this animation will use the saver plugin, which I will teach you how to install uh, in a minute. So after you have exported your file from uh, Photoshop, then you can come into After Effects. And after coming to After Effects, uh, I've just made a composition by selecting composition, new composition. And uh, this is a 1920 by 1080 pixel background, uh, but you can select any size that you want. Once you have this background, then you can uh, just right click over here, select import file. Then I'm going to import my file, which is the Photoshop file. And you need to select composition, retain layer sizes and uh, just edit editable layer styles, select OK. So when you double click, uh, then uh, this composition will appear over here. And uh, by the way, this is a 15 second composition, but we're not going to use 15 seconds. We are only going to use uh, around four to five seconds. So once you will have this, uh, then this will be your logo layer and uh, this is your background your background can be black or any color you like but uh, i've just uh, created a separate background for this uh, you don't even need to have a background if you do not uh, want so in order to apply the saber plugin uh, on this logo i'm just going to go ahead and select this logo select this layer and select this order trace so uh, you need to select this apply to a new, new layer option and uh, then you can select okay and the entire mask will be created uh, for the new layer of this logo. Uh, so this is the mask that, that we need. So you need to right click over here and select new solid. And this can be any color or any name. And uh, for this, I'm just going to go ahead and select my Saber plugin and uh, just drag this on top of this. So uh, you first of all, you have to install this Saber, Saber plugin and it's totally free of cost. And uh, you can just type in uh, Saber by Video Copilot in Google and uh, you can download it and then you can install it. It will automatically install in your After Effects. So once that is done, then you will see an effects and preset bar over here. You can type in Saber and uh, under this Video Copilot, you will find this plugin. So but before that, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the mask from this auto test layer by pressing Ctrl C. Then I'm going to paste this mask on this uh, dark solid, black solid. Then you will see that this mask has been pasted on uh, this black solid. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this auto test layer. I'm going to hide my logo for now and I'm just going to focus on this one. So you can drag and drop your Saber plugin on this and uh, for the uh, layer mode you can select add so if you do not find this over here then uh, you can just right click and go into columns then select modes and you will find this uh, layer modes over here so once that is done uh, you can just go ahead and customize core in the saber select layer mask and uh, for the render settings, uh, you can just uh, select transparent from over here. So this will be our uh, logo. I'm just going to decrease the uh, resolution just to save some computer uh, rendering time. 
after this what you need to do is uh, select the uh, electric from over here and this will completely be uh, done like this and uh, you need to change a few options over here uh, once you see these options over here then you can uh, select uh, this end offset as one for now you can select you can see this uh, layer over here now i'm just going to go ahead and press uh, increase this mask evolution and you can see that this will move so once this is on the top and uh, i i think I, that i would like to start my animation from over here and this will go around like this so uh, you need to you can see that uh, i don't uh, know whether your logo is like this or it will be something different so you can just go ahead and adjust this mask evolution but for this i think 71 is good on the top and then i'm just going to hit this end offset as uh, zero then i'm going to click this click this uh, stopwatch button over here at zero seconds then i'm going to go at two seconds and i'm going to change this end offset to 100 so this will complete my animation and once you see this will render out and uh, you can see that this is going to animate it like this so if you need to see your keyframes then you need to press u on this and i can see my keyframes over here and now for the next part for this next part i'm just going to go ahead and select my logo layer uh, unhide my logo layer then i'm going to select venetian blinds from this try venetian and these will be the venetian blinds i'm going to drag this on top of my logo and you can see that uh, this will uh, animate like this so i think you these lines are good enough but if you need uh, you can select 45 degrees and this will be okay i'm just going to go ahead and view my keyframes yes i think it looks good you can decrease the time uh, if you want a fast animation but i think it looks good for now now for the next part for the glowing part uh, i'm just going to select this dark solid and uh, go into this effects this is the same saber effect and uh, i'm just going to go ahead and keyframe uh, right about over here i'm just going to keyframe this glow bias like this then I'm just going to move a little bit, not too far away. Then I'm going to select 0.8. This will glow like this. If you need to see your keyframes, then you can uh, press U uh, twice and you will see these keyframes. Uh, so this, this is the keyframe that I have added. Now I'm going to select this first keyframe, press Ctrl C and go a little over here and select Ctrl V. This will change it back. Now uh, I'm just going to zoom in so you can see properly. Uh, now I'm going to select this keyframe. As you can see that this is glowing uh, like one by one, like a light. So you need to select this middle keyframe, press Ctrl C. After selecting this middle keyframe, you need to press Ctrl C and go a little over here and press Ctrl V. Then for this last part, you need to go over here approximately the same length then you need to press this control first keyframe press ctrl c then paste it over here so this is going to give you a nice glow effect so if you need to end your composition uh, over here i think this uh, animation is complete now so in order to end this composition over here we can just go ahead and select uh, press n on our keyboard let's go ahead and play this animation now and uh, this is looking something like this looks really cool uh, but uh, if you need to uh, just uh, increase the amount of time uh, that it glows increase the time over here and first of all uh, you need to increase the composition uh, time by pressing n on this blank portion and you need to select all of these by holding down alt you can increase the time by holding down alt and dragging so let me see if this is okay yeah this looks fine and this will complete our animation 
so i upload a lot of uh, streaming designs and online streaming animations and uh, twitch animations etc so if you want to see more amazing content like this then uh, all you have to do is subscribe and uh, say yes in the comments so in order to export this file you need to select file and export add to render queue and uh, once you have this over here then you can select this button lossless i select usually select quick time and uh, select okay and this is the location you can add your location over here anywhere you want and the file name and then just press render this will render your file and uh, you can use it as online streaming or etc so guys i hope you like this video and if you did then please leave a like comment below if you want to see more content like this and subscribe for more amazing tutorials and i'll see you guys in the next video so thanks so much for watching